There's history here. And here. There's history there. History is everywhere. Hi, I'm Dorothy Cotton here at the Phoenix Historical Society Museum and we're at 607 Church Street in Phoenix and we're open from Monday through Friday from 1 to 4 so you can buy and, and see us sometime and if you welcome welcome in we'll show you some show you around show you what we have the Historical Society was started in <clears throat> excuse me 1998 uh, and the museum was opened a couple years later here we have our little parlor stove. It was made around 1880 and it was originally used in the Brit House, but we have it here. Uh, one of our members donated it. Okay, here is a little uh, Sibley tent stove. It was made by Major uh, Henry Sibley and it was invented to fit into the side of his tent. It kept the tent warm. It was invented about 1857. Uh, this one was used in uh, Fort Klamath and it came to us on loan. This is our, our uh, rocker arm, our rocker for the a, a mining claim. Uh, it was used at Anderson Creek and other places here locally when they were mining different gold and different things. So I have a lot of pictures of the schools that used to be here uh, around the early 1900s on. Uh, they were eventually taken down and the new ones put up. We have a lot of pictures of the old schools and a lot of students from many of the years back, dating back before 1900. We have a lot of old pictures. Some places that are still in existence here in Phoenix, others are no longer here. But we have a lot of, a, a large collection of old photographs of buildings and people from around the Phoenix area. And one of them here is the uh, Furry family. Uh, the Furry family came here in 1860, and uh, and they have lived here ever since. They're still they're still members of the Furry family living here in Phoenix. Uh, the, here is the uh, Furry hotel, Furry family home and hotel. The building was built in 18. Uh, 57. They worked. They lived there around 1808 or 9, and kept it as a, a home and a hotel for many, many years. It, the building is still there. It uh, is located on Main Street, and it's it's still there. It can be, if you look at it just right, you can tell that it is the same building. It's been added on to a bit, but it's still the same building. This is our newest acquisition. It's a pump organ. It originally sat in the first. Presbyterian Church, the first First Presbyterian Church here in Phoenix, that was actually located on this site. The building is no longer here. When the Presbyterian Church moved down about four blocks, they took the organ with them. And over the years, it sat there, then was sold. It is now back with us. Family uh, gave it back to us, they, that purchased it. They fixed it up, and now it works fine. It's a pump organ, so it's difficult to play unless you know how. You need to pump the pedals on, down below, and before it makes any noise. Okay. So in order to play the pump organ, you need to pump the pedals before you can play it. Without pumping the without pumping it, well, you have to wait till it stops. I left air in it. Without pumping it, it makes no noise. But okay, this is our uh, hand canceling machine from the post office. It was used. Uh, many years ago, but it was used last used in 1993. Uh, now, of course, it's all automated and they can do hundreds of letters a minute. But at the time, it was one at a time and it was all done by hand. So we still have it and it still works. Can you show us? Yes. The arm is in the way. And you can just put a letter in on this side. Well, I do it right backwards. Okay, see, that's what, it, that's what it does. And then it comes out, and it and it hand counts. It cancels it and puts the the date on it. There is a little date wheel right in here. I can't. I'm, 
I don't, I've never done it. We have a lady, one of our members works, was a postmaster for many years and she always takes care of it for us. So none of us have ever done anything with it. She always has. But it's quite, a, quite an attraction for the children. Ah. If you put it, if you do it right. That one's getting kind of wrinkled. There. This is our slot machine that was also loaned to us. It came from Barclays Tavern, which is on Main Street. It's still, it is still there on Main Street. And right now it doesn't work, it's been locked. But it's one of the old nickel slot machines. It doesn't completely work anymore, it's been locked, but it does, it is one of the old nickel slot machines. Okay. This is a miniature of our, of the Culver House. Um, it was built to scale, that's why it's rather large. Uh, the, the, uh, because the house was on the historic registry, they went to Portland and got all the dimensions of it and built it to scale, so it's the exact scale. There's a few things in it from the Culver, the original Culver house, after it burned, these pillars here. They were going to build the whole house out of that material, but they couldn't because it was way too hard to cut. So they did make the pillars here in the front out of the original boards from the Culver house. Actually, my brother built the house. He lived in Phoenix all his life and remembers the Culver house very well. And so he, he built the miniature for us, he and his wife. The two pictures we have here, the first one is of the Culvers, Sam and Hulda Culver. They're the ones that actually started the town. They came here in 1854, had a donation land claim, and built the big house that we just, the Culver house in 1854. Uh, it stood over the years and uh, their families have owned it, many other people owned it, and then in 2008 it did burn. Uh, Sam Culver lived around here for all of, they lived here all their lives. He was an Indian agent and raced horses and was quite instrumental in the, in the valley at that time. Uh, the Culver, the original Culver House was built in 1854 and stood on the uh, highway, on, on Highway 99 for, uh, until, until 2008 when it burned. So it was the oldest house uh, in the area for many, many years. And it was quite a, quite a landmark here in Phoenix. Who were these people behind? Uh, the pictures we have behind the house, we have the top, sh the top row uh, are members of the Stancliffe family. Uh, they were a very old family here in, in Phoenix. The gentleman on the right, Bert Stancliffe, lived to be 102 or 3. He was born here in Phoenix, and that's his family. And the ones on the bottom are members of the Culver family. It's another huge family in Phoenix. They're the ones that, that built the Culver house. The, their ancestors or, par or parents built the Culver House. The hat collection belongs to one of our members, uh, Margaret. She has a large hat collection and she just brought a few of them into for us to have on display so we could look at them. There's a lot of really in interesting hats in her display. The doll collection is on loan from one of our members. Uh, they belong to his parent, his mother, some of them, and then he has the rest of them. And they're on loan from them. There's some, quite some old dolls in there and a lot of different ones. It's a nice spot to visit. We have a picnic table, come in and enjoy your lunch. This is the mail cart that was used in Phoenix many years ago. The gentleman that went that ran the post office would take his his uh, tractor and attach it to his wagon and and drive up the road to the uh, train depot and pick up the mail twice a day and bring it back to the post office. And that's the little cart he used. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, the museum actually sits in the corner of the cemetery property. We lease that property from the cemetery. 
The jail only has three sides, and that's because they'd take it to the person's house whenever they, they broke the law. They'd take it to their home, put it up against the house, and the family was responsible for feeding them and taking care of them. So hopefully the husband didn't do anything to his wife or she wouldn't feed him. So that's one of the stories, because the door is here, and it only has three sides. Here's a couple of timbers that we salvaged from the Culver House when it burned in 2008. You'll notice that the, that the timbers are like 12 inches square and they're all tongue and grooved and they all have pins where they were put together with pins instead of nails. And the house was built in 1854 so they didn't use many nails. It burned in the middle of the night. The gentleman that owned the house had to jump out of the second story window uh, to get out, he and his wife. Uh, and uh, it was really a sad, a sad day. We're located at 607 Church Street in Phoenix and we're open Monday through Friday from 1 to 4. Okay, thanks for coming to visit us today and I hope you will come back and, and see us again. Thanks.